Many people think of the Riverwalk in downtown San Antonio when they think about the San Antonio River. But the San Antonio River offers much, much more. There's a lot to be done to ensure it stays healthy, but through scientific research and good stewardship, we can keep our waterways clean and sustainable for everyone and its aquatic residents. You might be surprised to find that from the river's headwaters in San Antonio to its mouth in the San Antonio Bay at the Gulf of Mexico, it's a 240-mile journey. Natural springs, surface runoff from the rainfall, and recycled water supply fresh water to the San Antonio River. Roads and buildings are replacing important habitat resources and pollutants from the land such as fertilizers, pesticides, car oil, pet waste, and litter often wash into the San Antonio River during a rain event and travel all the way to the bay, impacting plants and animals along the way. Building hard and previous surfaces allow more of those plumes to get into the river, rather than being absorbed and filtered by the soils and plants. With so many natural and human caused changes around the river and bay, the San Antonio River Authority's scientists and partners are teaming up to search for clues from both past and present that will help us understand what keeps the ecosystem in a healthy balance and what can disrupt it in the future. These aquatic biologists are investigating what happens to fish populations in the San Antonio River after a rain event. But first, they have to catch the fish. Biologists use an electric current to safely and temporarily stun the fish before gently scooping them up with a net. They can then categorize the fish and collect data. So the, the species is Cypernidae, that's a minnow, um, and again, Cypernella lutrensis, uh, the red shiner. Um, again, more of a generalist species, not something that we typically are looking for out here in the riffle complex, um, but again, important to the study. If the scientists observe a change in what kind of species they find before and after a rain event, it can explain how runoff water and the amount of pollution it may carry into the river from the land could impact the entire food web, all the way to the bay. While Sarah scientists are using the scientific method to determine the needs of the San Antonio River and the San Antonio Bay's ecosystems, it is important for people living in the San Antonio River's watershed, from San Antonio all the way to the bay, to do their part by keeping the land and waterways clean. Because clean land means clean water for everyone. With scientific research and good stewardship, we can manage the needs of the aquatic residents while also using its resources for food production and recreation. Understanding how to preserve these ecosystems and their natural services they provide will ensure that there is a positive future for everyone.